this is Luis Salgado, Lyft Ambassador for the New York, New Jersey region, and today I'm coming with a video that many of you have been asking for for a long time, is Lyft Shared 2019. Today we're going to talk about Lyft Line, as you know, and it's going to be an interesting video. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to hit that little bell notice in the bottom so you can receive the latest videos, all the videos that I publish here um, at, le at least monthly, and uh, to like it and share it with your friends. Remember, if you haven't signed up to drive for Uber or Lyft, the links will be in the bottom of this video. Uh, always comment and ask any questions, but also if you have any questions, my phone number is 646-675-8088. You can call me or text me, preferably text me, and then we can, uh, I can answer all the questions, or you can just ask the questions in the comment section below. Remember that I have a website, it's over here or over here, it's called estanavidad.com. The link of that website is going to be in the, in the description below and in this website and the link that you're going to see is a list of products that will make the driver experience better so you're going to see dash cams uh, barf bags um, all kinds of products to to do uber and lyft and everything else that you do uh, there's a it's a nice curated list of all the uh, ideas and products that i've seen in the last uh, four years that I've been doing this business. Uh, this channel is for all of you that want to be successful in the Lyft ride uh, and in the Lyft and Uber uh, uh, platforms and I'm here to serve you, serve you and help you. So without further ado, we're going to talk about Lyft Before we go to the shared. video, I want to give you the main points that are important to know when you're doing Lyft shared rides. Um, Lift shared is confusing. <laughs> a lot of people uh, have a problem doing it when they're new, but with with time it becomes uh, second uh, nature, and you will be able to be successful with it. Um, the problem with Lift Line is that it's confusing for passengers because many passengers don't understand uh, that they're sharing the car with somebody else, um, so they they only pick the, the the ride because it's cheaper, but they don't understand that it's just because they're sharing the car with somebody else. So it's very important. Like the main point of, of Live Shared is that it's set destination, set price. Um, there's no change in route. So when you're doing Live Shared, you have to follow the app in order to be to make money, to be successful. The passengers cannot request a change in route. Uh, that's that's where I have a problem because I, I think that passengers are not uh, educated and l both Lyft and Uber have to do a, a better job educating the passengers in terms of how, what what these shared rides uh, entail. Um, the passengers sometimes don't understand that they're paying a lower rate because they're going to share their car and that the routes are optimized to pick up other passengers. So. If if you pick up a passenger uh, in in one of the uh, in one of the exits of, of a, a highway, the the lift app and is going to try to take you through the the places where there's more uh, odds of picking up other passengers. So you're not gonna be doing lift uh, shared rides on the highway, for example. Um, that's that's what's confusing for passengers, and sometimes they don't understand. And they tend to rate the drivers lower because for things that are really not under your control. But but sometimes passengers they don't understand this and they they tend to rate um, the 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 driver lower. Um, one thing that that is very important for you to understand if you are a new driver. And by the way, if you want to fast forward, if you if you you can fast forward to the tenth minute where it's going to be a, a faster video. Where I'm explaining the the app itself, but now these are points that are really important. Um, the difference between Lyft Shared and Lyft Line is that with Lyft Shared, uh, there's no change of routes as a passenger, and it's a set destination, set price. That's the, that's the way it works. With Lyft 
regular, the passenger is one, it's just one pa party has the whole car, and then the passenger has the um, has the option of doing up to three stops wherever they want. For example, a normal ride could could be like you pick a passenger in the pa in the airport. On the way home, he tells you, "Let's go to get my laundry." That's sensible. Then he says, "Please take me to the pharmacy to pick up my my medicine." That's good. And then you go home. Three stops. I mean, and that's that's sensible. In the case of Liz Shared, they cannot do any of those things. Um, so, if you change routes, for example, in a lift shared line, shared ride, a lift line, right? Um, the ch the change is not going to the distance that you travel is not going to be reflected on the payment at the end. So you have to stick to what the app says. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid more because it's set destination. Like I said in the beginning set price um what's good about for us about doing this uh leaf uh, shared rides um well if if you're sh chasing a bonus it's great because then it keeps you busy one after the other uh, so you can do many many multiple rides and they all count um, except if you're doing if you do a destination filter uh the the rides that you do in this destination filter they're they're counted right but they wouldn't count as rides for the weekly drive challenge i mean that's a, that's an extra information that i'm giving you but that's the way it works it's the only case where it doesn't count but usually they count for for multiple multiple bo bonuses uh it's good for business because you're you have people in your car all the time and um and remember that lift regular and lift shared it's the same pay rate. So, so for example, for Uber, if you do Uber regulars in here in New Jersey, it's 66 cents a mile. And if you do Uber pool, it's 60 cents a mile. Not here in New Jersey. Uh, all Lyft drivers get 81 cents for regular Lyft a mile. And then they do 81 cents for Lyft uh, shared as well. So Lyft pays more than Uber in all cases in this case um and you need to uh well be be aware of that um the other thing is that um if you do a ride the first ride and they cancel then they they pay a penalty if nobody else is in your in your uh, queue uh you show up to pick up the per first person and they don't show up you press cancel and they have to pay you a five dollar penalty where you keep the, the whole five dollars they don't uh Lyft doesn't keep part of this penalty um and the other thing is that um i'm reading here from my notes because i want to make sure that i give you everything is that um you are never going to press cancel on a lift shared ride because for example let's say you get to you pick up the first passenger, and then you pick, and then that second passenger uh, is a no-show. You're gonna pick, you're gonna press no-show instead of cancel, because if if you cancel the ride, you cancel the whole thing. So you cancel the passenger you already picked up, and the cancel the passengers that you have afterwards. Um, if the passenger in the second or third or even fourth uh, uh, in the queue doesn't show up. You press no show and you continue. There's no a cancellation fee for that, but you will be paid the distance and the time that you that it took you to get there. So so you you still get paid. The only time you get a penalty is if the first passenger is a no show. So those are some pointers of you know that that are important. And now we're gonna go watch that video. This is the sound the app makes when it's time to pick up a passenger. Tap anywhere on the screen to accept. Head southeast on Myrtle Avenue toward Clark Street. The motifs on the screen are purple. That indicates there's a shared ride. Also, on the upper left-hand corner is indicated that it's a shared ride. So, you head on to pick up your passenger. It is possible that this shared ride... Uh, has no other passengers so you 
at this moment you're doing a regular it's the same as doing a regular lift ride when you when this happens you will still be paid the same as a regular lift ride because there's no difference in the pay rate between lift and shared lift but as new you shared see pickup there, added that's, that sound indicates that another pickup has been added to your queue so now you have two passengers if you press on the upper right hand corner you can see the instructions basically how to call your passenger and if you p press on the left lower hand corner you'll see the uh, breakdown of who the passengers are it, it also is going to tell you about live shared multiple parties follow the app and earn more when it says multiple parties it's indicating that there might be more than two accounts in your car each party has up to two passengers Follow the app means that you have to Your destination is on the follow left. what the app and the GPS is telling you. You cannot alter the routes. It's set destination, set price. So you need to follow everything uh, as, as is. As you can see, there's a comparison between regular lift on the right and shared lift on the left. You see that shared has all that purple color uh, uh, that makes it distinguishable between the new one shared pickup added. Now, as you see, the third person has been added to this uh, queue, and you're gonna proceed and pick up. Okay, the first passenger. So it's the same the same process. Confirm arrival, and then uh, tap to arrive. Confirm arrival, and then pick up the person. Confirm how many passengers are in this party right now if the passenger uh, doesn't uh, fails to show up in the allotted time which is uh, 30 seconds you can press no show and in this case because it's the uh, you because you have other people in the queue you cannot cancel the ride you just press no show now we go and we're gonna pick up the following passenger when it's time to pick up you'll see that the globe on the person is purple or dark dark blue when it's time to drop off a person you're gonna see that the screen is pink and the globe is also pink now we see in in this menu we see all the people that are in the queue we could call them individually and then you can hit all those other um, options that you can you can uh, access from this menu it tells you basically the order that you're gonna pick up and drop off so you can follow that way or it's better just to follow uh, the uh, actions right from the home screen so you pick up the second passenger and you confirm how many people now it's time to drop off the first person so the first passenger is going to be dropped off and as you see it's a pink uh, motif and the globe where he is supposed to be dropped off is is also pink so now uh, you have two people on the car and you're going to because it says it on the lower left hand corner it says how many people are in the car already so you're going to see those two blue boxes indicate the amount of people okay so now we're gonna drop off that first person um, and it's basically the same process as, as dropping off a regular lift ride now there's only one person in the car as you see in the lower left hand corner and we are going to pick up another person which is that the, uh, un indicated by the dark globe okay once we get there we tap to arrive then we confirm arrival and then of course they have one minute to get in the car then once they get in the car you confirm how many people is uh, are are in the party okay so now it's time to drop off the first per the second person that got in the car it's time to drop them off now we're going to proceed to drop off the last passenger in the car she was in a hurry, so she asked me to please go straight there. So what I did is I turned on the last ride. That means that it's going to sign off 
after the last ride, but sometimes it works where no other people are added to your queue, which is a nice thing to have. So now, basically what we do now is follow the app, follow the GPS, all the way to the final destination, okay? So we had three passengers in the car, but th there was never a point where the three passengers were in the car. Sometimes it happens, but most of the time it doesn't. So that was all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me or to write them down in the comments. From New York City, this is Luis Salgado, Lyft Ambassador for the New York, New Jersey region. See you later.